Hey guys, I just got these, wow, I just lost my voice, <clears throat> excuse me. I just got these M Cosmetics Color Drops Serum Blushes in the mail and I wanted to share them with you, swatch them for you and put a couple on my cheeks. So M Cosmetics just came out with these serum blushes. Um, this card was included and they've listed four benefits here. There is an innovative, luxurious, yet lightweight serum texture. They're formulated with Sacha Inchi Oil uh, squalane, hyaluronic acid, and vitamin E. Cheeks appear youthful, healthy, plump, and bouncy, and gives a healthy, enduring sheen to the skin. Very nice. So the Color Drop Serum Blush uses a lightweight gel-based formula to provide sheer buildable color with each drop. Very nice. And when I saw these on Instagram, I was really excited. And admittedly, it was the packaging that got me at first. I was like, God, those look beautiful. And then when I realized what they were, I got even more excited. I really like uh, like liquid and cream blushes. I think they're a really, really nice alternative to powders, especially in the spring summertime. So here are the colors. We have Rose Milk, Pink Nectar, Sunset Sky, and Soft Amethyst. So the bottles for each blush looks like this. Isn't that so beautiful? I thought they were nail polishes at first, and I just think this bottle is so gorgeous. It has a matte finish to the cap here. There's a dropper system, it looks like. There's the M Cosmetics logo on the side, but really, really clean looking. And then at the bottom, you have the color name. And this is a frosted glass bottle. So this one is rose milk. This is the lightest out of the four. And I'm gonna go ahead and do some swatches here. So this is a screw off top and just pull it out. This actually has a very tight opening, which is nice. I think it's gonna keep this top pretty clean. And then there's a little dropper. It drops a nice amount of product, let's see. And there is one dropper amount. Let me go ahead and spread that out. Ooh, it feels like a little bit on the oilier side, so it's definitely going to have a nice hydrating feel to the skin. It spreads beautifully. Sometimes my issue with liquid blushes is that it starts to look a little bit streaky, but the pigmentation there is so even. All right, so I've been sitting here for about five minutes and this is still very, very emollient on my hands. So this is definitely not something that sets down to like a powder finish or anything like that. And when it comes to products that don't set down and they're along my cheek, my only issue is if it's too sticky or so sticky enough that like if the wind blows and my hair kind of gets on it, is my hair gonna stick to it? And this feels a little bit more um, like a cream lotion, like an oil-based cream lotion versus something that's actually very, very tacky. So I don't think that that would bother me. And I also feel like the texture of this, it really is kind of keeping the product in place without it looking very dry or powdery at all. But let me go ahead and swatch all four of them for you so you can see what they look like in comparison to one another. All right, so let me go ahead and face swatch uh, two of these. Um, I know this one is probably gonna be a little bit too deep for me or something that I would prefer to wear in the fall. And this is the soft amethyst color. So I'm gonna hold off on this one. And this one is the lightest and probably something that I would reach for like on the everyday or like a no makeup makeup kind of look. But I feel like this is very predictable. So I'm gonna go for the two colors that are kind of in the middle there. One is pink nectar and the other one is that sunset sky. So I'm gonna go with Pink Nectar first. I'm just gonna drop one drop onto the back of my hand here. Oh, and just to let you know, I have um, some loose setting powder and some bronzer down. So I'm just gonna be putting the blush just above the bronzer here, but there is gonna be a little bit of loose powder down underneath. So I'm starting with just the slightest bit, and I'm gonna start by tapping along here. Wow, you really don't need much for a lot of pigmentation. And speaking of, so there is 10 milliliters in each bottle, which is 0.34 fluid ounces. So I'm just tap, tap, tapping to blend it in. I'm not doing too much of a sweeping action because I do have that powder on underneath and I really don't want to disturb it. I do wonder if the powder is going to help with the emolliency of this product if it's really going to help it kind of like stay put and not be too too like moist on the skin i love that wash of color 
this, you know what this is perfect for? If you're into that Lisa Eldridge watercolor blush look, this is perfect for that. And now that I have this like very kind of thin layer over my cheek, it really doesn't feel quite as um, oily, for lack of a better word, oily as it did on the back of my hand, which was an entire drop. So this is the drop, and this is what I still have left over from my fingers. So that's as little of the product as you need. And it doesn't feel tacky on the face. It really just feels like you maybe just put some like skincare down. Okay, that is gorgeous. That one was pink nectar. Let's go ahead and play with uh, Sunset Sky. And so far it seems like I don't even need one drop from the dropper for both of my cheeks. One drop from Sunset Sky and I'm just gonna take my first finger here and just dip a little bit in. Start applying, it really is. <laughs> very, very pigmented. Yep. I'm going to pick up a little bit more and focus that right here. All right, there is Sunset Sky applied. These blushes are really, really beautiful and I love the texture of them. When applied with just that thin layer, it's not tacky, it's not totally set down for sure, but it just feels really, really nice on the skin. It really feels like skincare. You can really feel the like the squalane, the hyaluronic acid, the vitamin E, like it really feels like tinted skincare. This is beautiful and like I mentioned, if you're really into that watercolor blush um, look that Lisa Eldridge did. This could be something that you really, really love. So thank you so, so much to M Cosmetics for sending over these Color Drops Serum blushes to me. I am loving them. I cannot wait to try the two other colors, but I hope you guys enjoy this first look at these blushes. Definitely leave a comment down below if you have any questions. Give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it, and subscribe down below if you haven't already. I'll see you in my next video.